Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be going over a tier list of the best divisions in Werno. This is going to be applying to kind of everything in general, 1v1 team games. I'm going to exclude 10v10s. 10v10s are kind of like totally not balanced <laughs> in any reasonable way. Uh, team games though, in 1v1s, uh, I build my decks the same way for both game modes. I don't really notice too big of a difference. Maybe there's gameplay difference wise, but deck building, not too much. Anyway, I'm going to try to filter out uh, what I personally like and what I personally don't like and just kind of play what objectively is the better divisions on paper. I mean, obviously, based off play style, you're going to perform a little bit, maybe a tier above with it playing with a division than, you know, if you're playing another one. But in general, this is just going to be as objective as humanly possible, which is to say it's not going to be objective at all because in the end of the day, right, uh, <laughs> I am human and it makes it flaws. But anyway, let's start off with what I think is S tier division wise. Um, right off the bat, I think third armored is one of the best divisions in the entire game and we'll go through it right now as a division and third armored overall just has like really no real weakness that everything in this tab is super freaking strong the only real bad part of this deck in general is its lack of good aircraft the american aircraft in general excluding the f-16s are not amazing the he phantom not too good it's the best you got a lot of people have a preference for the napalm as well cluster not so great either not going to one shot any tanks probably not even going to kill a wounded tank um, these high altitude bombers just too easy to dodge at the high skill level the weasel's nice it does have pretty good ecm 40 percent which is great but in general uh you know not too good you're kind of you're kind of just you know killing aa pieces for no aircraft the good thing you do have though in this deck is good interceptors good fighters to cover super heavy tanks which is the whole game mode of this deck is to play around your, t your tanks. You got great helos, you got the Apaches, you got multiple models of them. You got the Toe Cobra and the Cobra, really quack, quick reaction forces. AA wise, you have great AA. The Stingers are some of the best light AA in the game. 55% uh, accuracy with no veterancy. And you also get two chat, you get Chaparrells here. And Chaparrells are so amazing. They have 12 ammo. They barely need to be reloaded any time in the game. They just got good rapid fire. They can, they just, they're just great in general. They're also infrared, so you never have to worry about getting seated. It's a really like low micro AA tab and the stingers and chaparrals together are enough to pretty much prevent anybody from messing with you. Recon wise, you got everything you need as well. The scouts, so you do not have any airborne deployment. That's one of the weaknesses, but again, like, and then the day, the tank tab is the bread and butter in this deck. The M1A1 arguably is one of the best tanks in the game, if not the best. And not only that, you get the HA with 22 penetration and 21 frontal armor. The only thing that can really compete with these things are U's and UD's. And really, it's only the UD's. And you just get so many of them. Compared to every other deck, you just overwhelm people. And not only that, you can take them pretty high veterancy. This, I mean, I don't take them too much veterancy, but we got already two of them here. You get a command tank nearby. You're talking about triple veterancy. Talking about 80% accuracy. This deck is just so nasty when the, the ball starts rolling. Already tabs just meh, it's okay, but it's got what it needs. It's got the cluster MRS and 109s. Infantry tab. Again, people are gonna be like, oh, the infantry tab is not that good. But the infantry tab is just there for one purpose, and that is a spot for the tank blob and to and to cover key positions for the tanks. That is it. And then you have plenty of that to do that. And you get tons of Bradleys, and the Bradleys have a 25 head <laughs> toe. It's just crazy. You just overwhelm with the tank blob and you got enough supply and cvs to keep the ball rolling now the next deck pretty similar here we'll go over it good old 11th cav s tier immediately this division just gets everything you could possibly wish for uh the 11th cav is just kind of a different flavor pretty much of a third armored you get all the tanks in the world you could ever possibly get and you also get recon tanks here in the recon tab m1a1s which have good optics which is pretty good <laughs> You have plenty of Bradleys. I mean, you don't get the Bradleys in the infantry tab, and your infantry tab is light. But again, similar thing. You're just using the infantry to scout. And your infantry is not garbage. Henshits and Hemshits hold the line really effectively. They're 11-man squad. They have really good AT accuracy with a disheartened unit. Uh, you have all the engineers in the world to fight CQC. Like, this is a lot of engineers. They're, I mean, you get 16 of them. Like, you're going to be smoking anyone for a couple, you know, first 15, 20 minutes of the game in the town, even if you if you wanted to. But really, again, you're just playing around the tanks. And what's really good about this deck is you also get the Jaeg Jaguar here with 65% accuracy. It can take a tank round. It has smoke. It's OP as heck. It needs to be price increased. 
Air tabs also really, really nasty. One of the nastiest things people do, I don't have a build for it because it's cheese, but you can A10 open at the start of the game and pretty much wipe out entire, just wipe out everything in the game. It's like honestly the most cheesy tactic in Warno right now, but even without the cheese, the air spam you can do in this deck is absolutely insane. I don't have really have an air spam build right now, but like these F16s with a com combination of C and A10s and LGBs, and really good fighters with the F-16. You can pretty much like just wipe out everyone, or like literally everything. You're just clusters to start coming in and just one popping everybody, all their AA units, OSHAs, Cubs, Cs come in also. It's just overwhelming. And then you can also strafe one pass any light AA piece as well. And the clusters can kill any AA piece in a building as well. <laughs> the cluster drop is such a crazy deck. Um, also, what's really nice about this deck compared to third armor is you get a million recon. Uh, you get all of these little BGS squads, and they have very good optics, and you just put them everywhere, and they're super cheap. We're talking about 20 points. Um, and you also get some LRS as well. Kilo tab is the weaker. That's the thing you're sacrificing in uh, from third armored, but you get, you know, pretty good helos anyway. You get these, like, mix of a Cobra and a Toe Cobra, giving you a Die Toe, 25 pen. Um, it's actually better than the Toe Cobra. Plus, you get 38 rounds of 70, uh, 70 millimeter Hydra Rockets. Um, they also, artillery tabs, okay, similar to third armored. And the AA tab, arguably, some people pre prefer the IHOX. IHOX are pretty good. 55% accuracy, per leader near them, get 60% accuracy. And these things can one-shot many of the packed and NATO aircraft, so this thing's really good. And you got multiple cards of Stingers. And again, Stingers is all you really need with the IHOX, and you are good. One thing you gotta note, though, is you definitely gotta protect your IHOX um, if you're playing this deck. But other than that, though, that is it, like... Really no weakness, and you have fighters to make up even if you do lose anything. Uh, and, the, and the F-16s, one pass at pretty much every single helo in the entire game. So it's just a awesome deck. And the tank blob and the M1A1s are just pretty much unstoppable. Now, there's only one division from pack that I put in S tier. Only one. And that's 27th. And I think it barely makes it. Barely. I think in general there's more good NATO divisions than the pack. Um, but we'll go over its deployment now. 27th is... I mean, it's pretty good, honestly. It's a good division. It has all the lodges and supply you could ever possibly want. You have a great infantry tab, and what's really great about this tab is that you get the BMP-3s. The BMP-3s have the 100 mil M117, which is super fast. So what it means is this ATGM goes way quicker than an ITO or Bradley's tow missile or anything like that. It goes way faster than any NATO or Conker's or GOT missile system. So these things will annihilate Bradley's. For most of the Bradleys, it's a one-shot kill. You never miss, pretty much, with these things. They pretty much hit every single time. You want to keep them in pairs of twos just to make sure. 65% accuracy. However, my understanding of Warno is the more the, the longer the missile has to travel through the air, the more dice rolls and the more opportunities for the missile to miss. Because this missile travels faster, it tends to hit more often. You get the metas, you get everything you want. Everything infantry-wise you can want. You also get a pretty good artillery tab. You have a lot of options here. You have no-nos, you have good mortars, you have a laser-guided artillery, SP artillery, which pretty much one-shots, if you have recon in the vicinity, it one-shots any piece of ATGM in any building and it wipes out squads as well. You also get grads as well, so you get everything. And you get a lot of it if you really want to. Uh, Tank-wise, again, just the bread and butter BVs, you get a decent amount of them, enough to like fly as a tank deck. You also get a better Conqueror's M here. You get the Conqueror's 23 pen instead of the normal Conqueror's only has 20 pen. And you also get that in the infantry tab as well with the 23 pen. You can see the Conqueror's only has 20 pen, and it has better accuracy. So, overall, better. Less availability, but just better. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, the BTRs, just for whatever reason, all of them in this deck have smoke launchers. Uh, none of the other decks get that, but they just get smoke launchers because why not recon's fine you also get a bmp2 recon really really strong uh, at the start of the game aa you have some of the best aa in the entire game you get the upgraded strela 10 that only this deck gets uh which is pretty freaking good 60 percent accuracy this is a helo annihilator you also get tours which are pretty good against high altitude they carry a lot of ammo as well uh really good and you get tons of aa you get just tons of AA. you also get igloos you get everything Helos are pretty okay. I mean, it's not the best tab, but you get enough just to cover yourself. Air tab is the weakness of this deck. Doesn't have amazing stuff, but again, enough to, you know, keep everything off. Keep the, got the rockets, got the AT plane. These things are really amazing, these planes. They're really, you really want to keep these alive, but they actually are like one of the most OP, you know, AT planes in the game. 
So really, honestly, with these infantry tab, already tab, tank tab, AA tab, there's like really no weakness that can go pretty much on any map, play any style. You can play an infantry style gameplay, you can play a tank style gameplay, it can play like a kind of passive gameplay mix with Artie. Um, just have a little bit of everything and it's just really freaking nasty. Now, one of the best infantry divisions in Warno, which is really not an infantry division, is going to be good old 8th Infantry. 8th Infantry is... I'm not going to put these in order, by the way, guys. I'm not going to put them in order. They're just in the tier category. 8th Infantry is probably the most OP in all of Warno. Um, arguably, some people will say it is the best division in Warno all overall. And, you know, I don't think they'd be wrong to say that. It has everything. Literally everything. It has a good air tap. It has F-16s, it has F-16 clusters, it has seed, it has the A-10s, it has LGBs. The weakness of these LGBs, they don't kill tanks, but they do kill everything else, which is all it needs. Um, it has helos, cobras, it doesn't have Apaches, but that's it. It's got an amazing AA tab, it has chaparrels, IHOX, stingers, it has all of it, you know, from the American side. Recon it has good stuff, it's got Bradley, Scouts, LRS, I know. It's got everything you would possibly need for an American... You got all the tanks you could ever want as well. You have the M1A1s, which are amazing. You get the M60s, which are also amazing. And you get CV tanks. You also have the option, if you want, to bring the M1 Abrams, which is actually not a bad tank. It's got a good pen, good armor as well. Not as good as the uh, M1A1, but... So you can play like a tank deck if you want as well. Uh, you got a really amazing artillery tab. You get the M110s. Two of these babies can pretty much one you know kill a tank every single time. Uh, this is really nasty artillery in general. A lot of people will sleep on this thing. Infantry wise, you have a whole an amazing infantry tap. You have everything you could possibly want again. You have Rangers, a special forces trait, which, which are less absolutely nasty in any type of CQC. These guys are crazy good. You have air cab troopers as well. You get mech rifles, which are 11 man beast squads. They're getting a buff next patch. We're moving one of these and getting a medium machine gun uh, on top of it. So it's just nasty. You get all the engineers, you get all the flash. Um, logi wise, get all the supply you can need at, as well. It's just like no real weakness to this deck. It has everything. It can go anywhere. It can play any style. There's only one more tank deck that I put in S tier. And maybe this is going to be a little bit more controversial. But I do believe, honestly, that 5th Panzer deserves a spot up here. It really has everything you could possibly want as well. It, it really is everything. It has everything <laughs> again. It's like, first of all, it's got a decent air tab. It's got AT planes. It's got the MW1 that's just like, annihilates people who blob up infantry uh it's got good at it's got decent he it's got some clusters it's got, it's got every little bit of everything air t helo tab is really weak does have a decent helo though with a 24 pen atgm got great aa amazing aa the rollins are nasty as hell you get the Roland three which is radar you get the infrared one if you don't want to get seated Gepards are great as well they're just helo annihilators and they'll actually one of the few spaa that can actually get on target and actually shoot down aircraft as well I mean, you even mix a Roland 3 and a Gepard, you're pretty much getting a guaranteed kill. If the Roland only makes one of its two shots, Gepard will finish it off. Recon tab, pretty good. You get the Lukes here, really fast. You know, start of the game unit. Off Claire, good. You get this airborne unit as well. Tanks are amazing. You get a million of them and you get a good variety of them. You get the 2A4, which is just like, you know, M1A1, German, <laughs> German style. Uh, if you want a little bit more cost efficient tank, you get the Leopard 2A3. This is a really cost efficient tank. 235 points, 16 armor, 20 penetration. Really strong. You get plenty of command tanks. But if you're also looking just for CQC light tanks, you get them there. You get them there too. And they all have better accuracy as well than any other, you know, anybody else's dex counterparts. 16 pen here, 17 pen here. Light armor, but again, you're using the CQC and they're cheap. Uh, you don't even really need to vet them up because they got such good accuracy. And you also get Jaguars. Again, this thing is OP as hell as well. <laughs> 25 Ben can take tank rounds, got smoke as well. Already tab, crazy good. You have all the already in the world you could ever possibly want. Infantry tab, you can just play as an infantry deck if you want as well. And you got great infantry. The Eggers are some of the most cost efficient infantry in the game. Uh, you got plenty of martyrs as well. And you also get these OP little Milan here who just like come around the Milan carriers <laughs> everywhere. Um, and you get the Milan too, which is super strong. CQC wise, you have really good infantry as well with the 10 man as pioneer squads, and you also get 10 man flame pioneer squads. And you get plenty of supply in this deck. So, really, a deck that can do absolutely everything, play any style. Um, it's a really, really, really strong deck. There's only one airborne division that I put in S tier. Now, that's going to be pretty, that's going to be like some people are going to be like, no, 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 they have to be. But I really do think the only one that really deserves a spot is 11E. 
or a, what I call 11 easy. It's so easy to play, it is ridiculous. Um, it's <laughs> so dumb. So, what makes 11 easy so good compared to everyone else? First of all, your air tab is arguably the best air tab in the goddamn game. It is so nasty. Everybody just gets extra ECM. The clusters have 20% ECM and they're the lowest, I think. HE have 20% ECM. They're fast. The LGB has 30% ECM. The seed planes, they just get 40% ECM. If you're looking for even more seed, you get to 50% ECM. <laughs> The fighters, I just get extra 20%, 30% ECM. And everything about this air tab is crazy good. Uh, the L the LGBs one shot any tank in the game. Uh, 9 out of 10 times. Clusters one shot any tank in the game. Uh, HE pretty much can kill any tank in the game if it has like, if it's lost like one or two HE on it. Uh, the fighters are really quick as well. They're just freaking nasty. Helos, you good ATGM helos, AA, your AA is freaking god tier. They have the best light AA arguably in the game with the Mistral. 65% accuracy, more a little bit more range than everyone else's AA. Uh, it's got four deploy AA, two gun trucks, and the Palma here, whatever you want to call this thing. I don't know how to say it. Um, and then recon wise, one of the best recon tabs in the game. You get these SAS satchel troops, eight man squads. These guys just annihilate everybody in CQC. There's like nobody who can survive this. Spetnas get close up to these guys and they cry. It's, just, it's so crazy good. You got a recon, a little like cheaper AMX. You also get a jammer helo. Man, it's so nasty. This <laughs> The tank tab's a little weak, right? But you do get tons of ACGM carriers, uh, which is good. Already tab's weak, but you get smoke and that's all you need in this deck. And the real bread and butter is four deploy OP infantry. First of all, you get six per card, one vet Milan twos. You can bring two of them. Uh, you get 12 of them. And you just put them all over the map and then you just annihilate everybody for tank wise. The paramarines um, and the legionary paras just pretty much beat everybody in a 1v1 fight. They just beat everybody. They come double vet, which is crazy because then they get more availability and they also get more availability than everybody and they just come double vet on top of it. Like if you're playing an airborne deck like a second, you have to come one vet and you get the same availability as these deck guys. And that double veterancy really makes a difference. And they also have the resolute trait for the better version. And these guys still have the shock trait and they're double vet. It's as if they have the resolute trait. And they also just have really good CQC infantry. They have eight man flamethrower for deploy. Superior <laughs> with a another superior, another CQC infantry squad. And the only cheap unit you have is chassiers, and you still get air mobile. It's just like everything about this deck's crazy. You just can overrun everywhere on the map all at once and winning every one-on-one -on -one engagement. So yeah, that is eleventh. It is crazy good. There's only a few decks that own om there's a few decks that almost make it to S tier. And one of those divisions, at least I think, for example, is 82nd Airborne. 82nd Airborne is almost there, but just not quite. Uh, the, the kind of the reason for that is one, I think they're going to get nerfed pretty big in the next patch. Uh, they're, they just, if you have to pick an airborne deck, I just feel like the other deck is just superior. Your tank tab is non-existent. Your toes are good, but that's about it. You don't have any fast mobile, cheap vehicles anymore to roam down the road. You have to use LAVs and everyone knows about them. They're hundred points. Your recon tab's not too great as well. You do have good recon, but like, it's not like you're bringing any elite infantry. You have a lot less satchels than other CQC oriented infantry decks and your airborne dragons are just never going to be as good as bringing a whole bunch of toe twos. You do get the, or sorry, the uh, Milan twos. You get the toe twos, which have one more pen, but you only get three per card instead of six per card. And these are 105 points while the other one was only like 75 points. So it's really a big difference in cost there. AA, I mean, your AA is good, but just not as good as 11E. Your helo tab is is better. You have the Apaches, uh, though the Apaches are expensive and only can be used in certain opportunities. So I don't really put too much stock in helos. They're pretty easy to counter in you know a competitive game. And your air tab is significantly weaker than 11E. It's just way weaker in every way. Uh, it's it's a good air tab, but just nowhere near as good as quality. The only thing you really get that's superior in any meaningful way is you get a far better F you know interceptor fighter but that's that is it next division that's in a tier for sure is 24th 24th is just like the weaker cousin i think of third 11th and eighth uh, really good still but just nowhere near as in quality as those three are uh, so 24th what it does get though 
is to get some really nasty aircraft. It's the Strike Eagle here. Strike Eagle is so good. It's crazy. 40% UCM. Flies like a freaking meteorite. Uh, you get two rounds here. A lot of people make the mistake of utilizing these by just like running them in deep in enemy lines. But you just kite with them on the edge and just start popping units. It's crazy. They pay for themselves so fast. And in two minutes, they're back on the battlefield with only, only 120 supply cost. Helos, not as good as the others. ATAP, not as good as the others. But I mean, it's pretty much exactly the same, actually. I mean, which is fine. Still got a really good air tap, AA tap. Recon, it's a little bit worse. You do get some Bradley's though, which is nice. Tanks though, you just get the worst tanks. You get the M1 IP. It is a great tank, but it's just not as good as M1A1. Uh, and you don't get too many of them as well. National Guard Abrams is, you can use this thing, but it does fall apart when it takes one round. It's a reserve straight. You gotta keep it the command tank at least around it. Already about the same. Infantry tab, I just think it's a weaker infantry tab. You get more stuff. And you get more Bradleys, which is great. But a lot of it's disheartened infantry, <laughs> which isn't good. It's not good at all. And you can it can really snowball on you pretty badly. I mean, the, the it's just like you, if it's Bradley spam, there's a lot of decks that can counter it. A lot of ATGM spam can counter it. Uh, good ATGM tanks that the pack gets can counter it. BMP3s can counter it as well easily. So you just gotta be really careful with this. It's just like kind of an inferior uh, deck compared to the others, especially like against 8th Infantry. And Logi does just a okay. Next deck that I think is on the A tier for sure is good old 4th Motoshutsen. A lot of people sleep on this deck. It is a really, really nasty deck. It has everything you could possibly want, uh, but it does run out of steam. So that's the weakness. This deck runs out of steam later in the game. Its infantry tab is really great. But especially these Fulshi Maker, they are a really nasty unit, but they run, they don't have a lot of them and they do run out pretty quickly. Same with their already tab. It's, pre, it's pretty standard for pack. It does have the RM70, which has two salvos already built into it, which is nice. Tank tab is meant okay. This is the problem though. You do run out of tanks here and you do run out of ATGMs in this deck as well, really quickly compared to the other decks. Uh, so you got it. You play, it's kind of an aggressive deck at the start of a game. Really good opener. It's got four to play AA, but you do have to triple vet them to even survive. Not a great AA tab. It's got a good helo tab. Uh, but again, helos are easily countered. Its air tab is just okay. It's lost a lot of its bread and butter. It used to have SU-22 AT planes, but it's lost some. Now it's just a MiG-23. These guys are pretty good at launching missiles at far range, but their accuracy is 35%. Pretty garbage. Their fighter tab is really strong, though. They get the good fighter, and they also get the good light fighter. And they do get the good HE bomber. But again, just a little bit weaker than the other counterpart decks, and it just falls off really quickly into mid to late game. Next deck on the A tier for sure is good old second Panzergren. I love this deck. It does have some clear defined weaknesses. Second Panzergren has zero four to play AA, meaning that Hilo rushing in an open can mess you up against your Fulschmager. Also, your Fulschmager are the same price, but weaker than the East German counterpart. You do have a better AT gun with 21 pen. You pretty much got to double vet them to make them survive. Everything else though, you got, got really good cost efficient infantry with the Jaeger, some of the best guys in the game. Good already tab as well. You got a strong tank tab as well. You do get some Leopard 2A3s, you get some Leopard 1A5s and 1A1s, which is really good. Just really, really good tank tab. And recon wise, good as well, but it can pretty much go anywhere. The air tab's really great as well. You get the F-16 fighter, which is really good for one passing helos and keeping people from heal rushing at the start of the game. But it is a risk. If they don't heal rush at the start of the game, you are just down, you know, 170 points, or maybe even if you buy two of them, you're down even more. So, but other than that though, the deck is really strong. It can pretty much, it's pretty versatile. It can pretty much play in most lanes and do well. Uh, the one thing it does run out of steam is tanks. If you're trying to do tank, we got to really micro these two A3s. Now the next division that I believe is A tier is 5E. I really love this division. A lot of people think it's even better, but I think an A tier is about appropriate. It's got some clear defined weaknesses, uh, a big heavy tank blob, uh, medium range engagements. If they get a critical mass can really just mess up your AMX 30s. AMX 30s is where you play around here. They do have 17 pen, but no armor. So when they get up to M1A1s and HAs, it gets really difficult for these things to play, you know, to effective damage. Uh, Helo tab's fine. Air tab's meh. It's just milk toast. It's not great, but not bad. Recon tabs amazing. These AMX 10s or the race cars are so fast and they're so good at the start of a the game. They can pretty much snipe a lot of uh, transports and early units at the beginning of the game. And they got pretty good accuracy. They got good, very good optics. 
They're just a very good unit overall. Artillery-wise, they have the AMX artillery, really good unit as well. Average is just fine. Uh, Grandier Voltigas are a little bit, maybe arguably overpriced in my opinion, 55 points. Uh, but they're good overall. They're not too bad, and they got really good range, good range on their AT. But yeah, that's about it for 5e. I think it's about an A tier division. I don't think it's S tier. Another amazing A tier division is Great Old 35th. I like 35th a lot. Oh, this is going to be the controversial one, I think. 35th, I think, is actually a really good division. I don't really get why everyone thinks it's so bad. Uh, it's got, I think, you just got to spam out. You get, you get a million Conquerors in this deck like uh, 11e or with the Milans. I mean, they are not as good as a Milan, but again, you get two of them, one vet. 12 of them. You get metas too. Really good range. Good damage. Uh, Spetnas are like unmatched except against Satchel 11 E's. <laughs> they do get annihilated by 11 E's Satchels. This deck's pretty brutal against 11 E. You, you kind of get messed up by 11 E. But <laughs> Dead Sneaky and Dead Sneaky Pomachiki are pretty good in general. They're just like an okay squad. 21, 20 pen. And you get Double Vet Dead Sneaky Pomachiki, which with three PKMs, man, they freaking smoke infantry squads. And four deploy BMDs is crazy good as well you really got to play with that uh you got gru with which is really good they got ex exceptional optics when they stop moving and they activate their radar helo wise you get some of the best helos one of the few decks you can helo rush with the start three aa helos here pretty much will shoot down any aircraft in the game that try to start with a fighter so this is a really hard counter i think to second panzergren if you open up if they open up with one f16 you open up with three aa helos you wipe out their entire opener of airborne and you kill their their, their plane um, they have a great air tab, good fighters as well, LGBs that one shot everything in the game, good AT that pretty much one shots everything, and an amazing seed, probably the best seed in the game with the MiG-25 BM. Now the UK, let's go over 2nd UK here. I think 2nd UK infantry is an A tier division. It is, it's played a lot of tournaments, it's I think it's really good, I think it does the job effectively in every single manner. Let's just go to it. It's got good four deploy infantry with the SAS. They are pretty expensive. They got AT and they have singers. They can stop any type of healer rushing at the start or any heavy A play, A play at the start of a game. They got plenty of good line infantry uh, with the motor right airborne and got the Milan two warriors pretty good as well. Uh, as far as the Milan one. Armor rifles are just nasty. Terras are super good actually for its price. Only 40 points. It's cheap. Good you know, decent infantry. You can also bring the other, they got plenty of options for cheap infantry as well. You got the uh, HSF right here. They don't have a, um, a medium machine gun. That's why I prefer, or light machine gun at all. That's why I prefer the uh, Terras. Uh, but yeah, just a good everything. And it's got tanks too. It's got the Challenger Mark IIs. These aren't the best tanks, but they're pretty cheap overall. 18 pen, 18 armor. Um, Milan 2 carriers are good as well. 24 penetration. Recon has got the Foxes really fast. They have a lot of vehicles at the start of the game. Air mobile scouts are really, really good. Eight man, two light machine guns and a medium machine gun, which is really nice. And you can also bring a lot of these infantry squads in rocket helos with the air mobile pioneer here. And they all come with tons of rockets, which is really, really nice if you want to start off heal rushing if you're into that. Um, the javelin is pretty good AA. It's not as good, I think, as a stinger or, you know, the uh, mistral, but decent. Uh, that's one thing you got to watch out, though, is this deck can get overwhelmed really quickly you lose those SAS and then you lose a couple of chalk rapiers and javelin and things fall apart pretty quickly you have some of the cheapest rocket helos in the game gazelles 12 rockets only 20 points though which is crazy good and you got a decent uh air tab you get a cluster this thing will pretty it is high altitude so it's not the best and these harriers are okay jaguar some of these can sometimes one shot any tank in the game uh though if, you, if it has one hd damage or two hd damage this thing will 100% sh one shot any tank in the game they are low altitude, but pretty good overall. This tank deck will probably be the most controversial, I think, spot. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but 79th deserves, I think, an A tier position. It's a good division. I think it's got everything it really needs to be a good division. It's definitely not as good as all the S tier divisions in any regard. Uh, the BVs just don't make up for the M1A1 spam. They're just so much better than one a ones. The Air tab is okay. You can do a lot of things in this deck. There is a lot of variety. You also have the one high altitude cluster that is good. And you're asking why is this good? Because it has double the cluster munitions. It actually can one-shot tanks, uh, which is nice. Uh, Helo tab is nothing to you know, write home about. A tab is actually pretty good. Oshas and Guskas pretty much can cover anything with Oshas. Oshas are also really fast and keep up with the infantry. 108 kilometers an hour is what the fastest transports for 
attack go and nato recon you do open up again with a bmp2 um, recon and you also get a good old gru here and you get some recon healers if you're into that tank wise you do get a strong tank tab and you get the upgraded T80 BV, which comes with a 21 pen ETGM in comparison to the 19 pen. That makes a huge difference in ranged combat. You can actually put the hurt on a lot of the M1A ones, especially Leopards. It puts a lot of damage on the Leopards and the Challengers. Uh, but again, M1A ones get in a medium range, which is the majority of the engagements with tanks. And they can frick it. they're going to mess you up big time. Though the T80s do come double vet and you get two availability, which is super freaking nice. Um, which makes a big difference and I recommend. You also get one card T55s and you get some Conquerors. Already wise, standard pack, you get some grads and everything. Infantry's pretty okay. You get an option here, the BMP2 or the PMP2D. The 2D, I think, is a little bit superior. There are some downsides, right? You get this squad, gets an 18 pen ET, uh, ET gun. This guy only gets a 15 pen ET gun. So that is the, the trade off there. It's just a good tank blob deck in general. Uh, and you can also somewhat play an infantry style at the start of a game with this deck. Though I must be concerned like if you're going to go against third armored it is going to be very painful for you uh ha's are going to put down the hurt on you so that's something you got to be wary of my favorite deck in the game besides maybe some uh maybe besides uh 56 is definitely sud here and i think sud deserves a spot objectively in b tier it's not op it's not amazing it's it's just you know it's good. Uh, it's a good alternative to many of the airborne decks that in tournament play get banned at the start. And we'll go over a little bit over why I think Sud is such a good deck. I think the best thing about it is you get AMXs, you get tons of recon, you get some airborne, and you get four deploy AA. This deck with this four deploy AA changes everything. It stops you from getting healer healer rush and dying at the start. And you get good AA overall. And with AMX combined with the full Shimanger, with Satchel, one of the best squads with the Satchel, paired with a Green Beret with AT and good defense. This is a nasty division. You have some of the most cost efficient infantry in the game with the Het Schutzen, Jaeger, Jaeger Carl G, Pioneer Flames, and everything like that. Really cost efficient. Air Taps, really nasty. You have LGBs, the one American good LGB that one shots everything. He has two passes and has 30% ECM. Also has high altitude. Bombers here, the Starfighter, which is amazing as well. And you also get good air tab fighters. These two of these are pretty much one pass any healer on the game. They're pretty cheap. They're fast. Um, and the Mirage 2000, you know, can't speak anything bad about it as well. Artie's good. You get some mortars that are good for smoke. Tank wise, it's all garbage, but you do get some good carriers for ATGMs. You got to use these guys as CQC. They're not even good for fire support. So if you're going to try to use them for, like as BMPs or something like that, or like a Bradley type, fire support unit they're just not good for that so don't use them um other than that though it is just an overall good fast deck that has a lot of reaction time and a lot of you know good infantry squads uh, the one thing i'd like to add in the future would be an extra milan too if they added that that'd be super nice but we you know we're not gonna get it <laughs> now there's a pack division that i think deserves a spot in b tier and that's 119th so i'm giving it with a caveat here this division could be higher or lower depending on what it's facing <laughs> and that's true to all the divisions but this division more so than any if you're going against a deck with good lgbs uh or good airborne deployment like you're going against 11e it is so cancer to play 119th it is sad you want to cry when you play decks like that but if you're going against like third armor you're like hell yeah this is this opportunity where this deck pops up like two tiers and can go toe to toe with it but yeah, th this is a division that's really dependent on what you got. You got a decent air tab. You got some of the biggest LGBs in the game. These things want to shot everything every single time. You got good fighters as well. Heal tab is okay. Uh, AA tab's weak. This is the problem. And this is why it's painful. You're playing against decks like 24th. Uh, Sud, for example. Any decks with good LGBs, you want to cry because you have no real way to deal with them. Tunguskas are not going to cut it against fast, high altitude LGBs. Never going to shoot them down. You get the, yeah, just not going to shoot them down and you're going to sit there and, and cry. The only way you can shoot them down is using your fighters, but if they have good fighters, you're in a bad situation. Uh, the one deck you don't have to worry about is Berlin Command because your fighters will deal with the Strike Eagles or Nighthawks really easily because they're slow as heck. But your tank tab is your bread and butter. Your recon tab is decent too. 
with the beam. You don't get a BMP2, sadly, which is kind of sad, but you know, it is what it is. But the tank tab, already tabs okay, nothing great. The Barantino is overpriced, don't ever bring it. The 152s are really, really strong. These things can be easily counted battery, but if you're microing them good, it'll be a-okay. Tank tab is amazing. This is an amazing tank tab. The U, honestly, is probably the most cost-efficient, good price tank in the game. 21 pen, 19 armor, 21 ETGM. Uh, good veterancy, you get two availability. The UDs are even crazier, 21. These are the tanks that can go against a HA. 21 pen, 21 armor. And you do also get some cheap alternative T55s with the flamethrower. And, but you get good quantity of them as well. Infantry, again, you cannot do a prolonged game. You have to use your infantry in a way to just screen for the tanks. The tanks do all the killing, infantry just sit there and scout. You can make up for this infantry tab a little bit with the recon. Uh, but yeah, you do get Spetnaz and no Ps, but you get no four deploy AA. So that's something to worry about. You do get some decent infantry though. and. Good availability, okay, but nothing nothing to write home about. It's not a great infantry tab. The bread and butter is tanks, uh, but again, this infantry tab can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with like third armor. So it's about who can micro better in the tank gameplay. And one advantage you get against third armor, for example, is you do get LGBs, uh, they don't. So this deck, though, totally dependent on what you're playing against. 39th is also a fun division. It's just the weaker brother of 79th and 27th. Uh, some people are gonna say this deck's better than maybe 79th but i think i love 39th it's one of my favorite decks it's my i think second or third favorite deck in the game it used to be number one before i fell in love with sud but this division has some weaknesses it doesn't it has good lgbs which is nice air tab it's got a decent helo tab as well it's AA is nice with the oshas and the recon is nice as well but the problem part is the tank tab is just a lesser upgrade of it, and its infantry tab is a lesser upgrade of the others. You don't get BMP3s, you don't get better ATGMs, you just get the BMP2s, uh, you don't get the better BMP2s, which is sad. Your Moto Shoki doesn't get any BTR smoke, so it's just like a kind of a weaker tab in those areas. It does get good air tab and good helo tab, but again, when we talked about this, helo tabs are very easy to counter. And I'd say air is the next thing that's pretty, it's not, it's pretty reasonable that you can counter it. Especially that you don't really get a good seed plane in this deck at all. So you're kind of just out of luck in that, <laughs> in that you don't get any seed plane, so you're just out of luck with that. RD wise, it's not anything to write home about. It's pretty standard. You get grads and so on. It's nothing, again, nothing to write home about. Um, you do get the recon jammer here, which is nice, but that's it. Seventh Panzer is next on this list uh it's just a kind of weak division in general it has a lot of opportunities to be good and it can be good but again the t72ms just perform so much worse <laughs> than like an m1a1 they have really if you can get in a cqc like a little medium to cqc range you can really put down the hurt on heavy tank decks um, but yeah like they have a great air tap though they do get the good su22 at plane they get a good fighter Helos, nothing right home about again. A is not very good. It's okay. It's, you know, they do get some special off clear here, which is six man. It's not the eight man, so they do get beat by a lot of things, which does suck. You get a lot of T55s, one of the most cost efficient tanks. Infantry tab is not good. <laughs> and that's the problem. It's just like infantry is not great. Tanks can kind of get beat by many of the other tank decks. Uh, just, it's it's a good deck against like a deck like 5e, for example. But that's about it, though. Um, I think there's just like a lot. I just think this deck is easily kind of beat. You just know what's going to happen. You know it's a T55 spam deck or T72 spam deck. What are you going to, you know, that's it. And you buy it, you know, he's got good, some like good aircraft. So you're just going to buy AA and, that, and you just, that shuts it down. And then every infantry engagement, you're going to win. So a deck I really love too, but I, uh, I have to put it in the B tier as well, is going to be 56. 56 is a strong deck. It's got a lot of things going for it. No airborne is a big weakness though, compared to like decks like 35th. Its tanks are okay with T62s, they're not amazing. Recon tab is not amazing. They do get four to play AA with Stingers and AT, but they are four man squads. They just get obliterated by anybody who has anything. They do get BMP2s, uh, and they come naturally one vet, and they got a great infantry tab. Their infantry is nasty. And the BMP2s, um, 2Ds are really, really good. And this also this squad here is so cost efficient. It's got no AT. And and then this flamethrower BTR is so good. It's got a flamethrower and a flamethrower squad's OP. 
That gets some really nasty um, CQC infantry. And that's the key to this deck, is you have to smoke push. It's got a lot of things going for it, but again, like it's it's just not as good as other decks. Tank blobs can really overwhelm this deck. It doesn't have a million ATGMs. It doesn't have a, uh, you know, a million ways to deal with them. The best thing you got, though, in the deck, though, is the Grad V. I was thinking one shot all light mortars. It one shots all pretty much all light artillery. And it one shots and two of them together pretty much can suppress any like five man squads or ATGMs. Any buildings, ATGMs will kill. Be killed by these things if two of them fire. And they have very low supply costs and a really quick reload rate. Those are a must take in that deck. Do get LGBs again and a decent AT. But yeah, it's just it, everyone's gonna know you have these things and they're gonna buy AA to cover their <laughs> their better tanks and they're gonna get smoked. The next division on this list is going to be 56 here. They are a fun division, uh, but they are, they do have some clear weaknesses here. One of those big clear weaknesses is it has no good infantry at all. <laughs> None. <laughs> Zero. The only squad it has that actually, I mean, I guess there's one exception, these guys, but they're not that amazing. They're, they are an eight man squad and they are 55 points, but they do come in a healer, which is risky. The meta is pretty expensive, but everything else is terrible. They're all seven man moto shoots in the squads and they lose to everybody. <laughs> they just lose to everybody. So yeah, they're not that great in that as you know, they're just not good in that way. Already tab is pretty good. You do get this unique artillery here, which is I think auto loader. And they put down five rounds per shot, which is pretty good. They put a lot of damage out. The tanks are a little they're just the problem with these tanks is they got a 21 pen ATGM, which is good. Nice. They only have 16 armor though, 19 pens. So when they go to M1A1s in medium range, or even BVs who have an extra armor on them, but 17 armor, you start to get smoked here. And you don't have a lot of them either. And the other one version here is even weaker, it just has 19. It just, yeah, these things aren't great. The only thing that's good for them is ATGM, but you got to really micro and find the spots for them and they become just expensive ATGM carriers. Recon, you do have one awesome recon squad, this 10 man satchel trooper. That's it. AA is pretty good. You got bucks and helo tab is nothing to write home about. And the air tab, the problem with this air tab, uh, it would be a lot better if they changed one thing. First of all, this fighter can't one pass and two of them can't really one pass any, any of the better helos. So these things are kind of just garbage. The difference is they're cheaper. They're 125 versus the normal one, which is 145. And not getting that extra missile slot makes a huge difference. And this thing can't go after helos either. It, but it is a really good fighter. But the best thing about this deck is the MiG-21 clusters. These one, one shot any armor in the entire game. HA, full health, one shots. Problem with them is they have to do low aptitude. And they get one shot by Chaparrells, Rollins, IHawks, anything. One shot. It's a one shot kill to these things. And you get these little light bombers, which are awesome. But yeah, just like kind of an easily. Everyone, it's like to deal with tanks for this deck is really hard in general. Your tanks aren't as good. You have to rely on the MiG 21s, and you only have four of them, and people know about it, and they're going to immediately get AA cover. Even if you get the kill, they're going to shoot you down immediately. And you're probably, if it's an M1A1, you're only going positive by like 50 points here it's not like a crazy lead that you're going up by and they're gonna have more than four <laughs> and infantry wise you're just gonna get beat it by any infantry deck so it's, it gets pretty tough for this deck overall now back to the british we do got one division left for the british first armored i think first armored actually moving up slowly as they change the prices of their units there were some they used to be way too overpriced but they're starting to move up you got a decent infantry tab, you got a decent tank tab. The the problem with this deck and why it's not higher up is the Mark 3s and the Mark 2s are just inferior to all the other tanks in the game. And the problem with them is their reload speed. And once that reload speed gets hit, it goes, the accuracy, I mean, once they get hit and they get stressed, the reload gets, just goes down the drain. And then they take out, the more round gets down on you and then your cohesion gets even lower and then your Reload time gets even lower and your accuracy gets lower. It just kind of snowballs really quickly with these tanks. Um, so that's the problem with these. Other than that, though, it's got a, you know, everything else is pretty good with it. I mean, it's not too bad. It's got clusters, it's got Jaguars. You know, everything about it is pretty fun. Um, but it's just, yeah, that those the problem with it is like it doesn't have an amazing infantry. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of infantry. And the better deck 
better tank decks are just going to kind of beat you in those one-to-one -one engagements every time so this deck is kind of weaker i think than the others but i think it's on the climb as they continuously lower the price of the mark twos and the mark threes um but time will tell whether this division climbs up the leaderboard here now the last division on our b tier is going to be berlin command i think it barely makes it honestly barely just by the hair of its teeth um berlin command has some pretty obvious weaknesses one it has no good fighters it has harriers which are slow can't shoot down anything the nighthawk is it's like cool fun unit but it's so god dang loud it's so loud that you know it's coming way before it drops its lgb you just send out a fighter and it one shots it because it's so slow as well its speed's only 605 kilometers i mean the mirage here yeah the mirage is almost double the speed it's crazy slow so that's another thing and all its air support is pretty slow um and the c is not great either HG, it's, you know, Hilo's fine, does get his gazelles. AA is also a huge weakness. It only has light AA. So high altitude bombers, you're playing decks like Sud, for example. You have no way to counter Sud air. You have no way. Zero. Um, this was played in the tournament. There's a guy who's probably the best Berlin Command, and I played him, and I played Sud, and he played Berlin Command, and there was nothing he could do. I would just bomb him over and over, and he had nothing to shoot me down with. Yeah, I had all high altitude bombers. I dropped my bombs. He couldn't shoot me down with any of his light AA. And he couldn't chase me down with any fighters. So what was he supposed to do? He just kind of like died. Recon Tab is okay though. It's got some Seek, which are pretty good squad. Six man, pretty cheap. And it's got these PSSE, which are AT and Satchel Troops, which is pretty nice as well. Got some Foxes. Tank wise, it's got a good variety of good amount of tanks. But again, not enough to like go tank to toe with anybody. Um, they do get some, uh, but good variety, enough to c cover the line. Decent already tab, the 155s. Its infantry tab is really strong, actually. The Berlin rifles, 10 man squads, two light machine guns, 20 penny T is really nice. They also get the RAF rifles, 30 points, disheartened with a medium machine gun and 12 man, really nice. And you get 12 of them. And the le recordless rifles are not good. Like everything about the infantry tab is really great. It's just missing uh, a strong tank tab, A tab, and air tab. Um, and on paper, this deck would be good if it had, like, I don't know, another fighter or one piece of good AA. But yeah, it, 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 it's easily abused as a deck. It can get really messed up really quickly. Now, there's one more division that could go in either B or C tier. And that's going to be good old 101st Airborne. I think it's really more a C tier division. And the reason for that is it's just an easy, easy deck to counter. Um, it's artillery is easy to counter battery. It's infantry isn't it's all overpriced Really expensive all of her squads are super expensive and not gonna like beat squads of similar caliber in one-on-one -on -one engagements They're just super kind of they're crazy expensive um, the, the thing it does it's got no air tab whatsoever except interceptors, but has no good like supporting them. The patches are easy to counter with any type of AA. It's a tab is okay it does get some singers and so on, which is nice. Recon tab, again, super expensive. 100 point GSR here, 13 man squad. Delta squad is nice. I like these. Uh, but again, that is expensive. Tank tab, you don't get many of them. You only get six tanks. They do get the M1 IP, but like, again, it's a tank, tank, tank to tank combat. You're not going to do too well. Um, but the infantry is just overpriced for its price. Overpriced. It's way too expensive. Um, and you got no, you got the chaps. That's only, you only get one card. So you lose those chaps, pretty much lose your ability to stop the high altitude bombers from coming in, except with the F-15s. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, it's just, it seems like everything's a little too overpriced in this deck. And that's just maybe me, but I think it's way overpriced. And if it comes down in price, then this division will definitely move up the tier and definitely will move immediately into B tier um, when it does. Now there's only two divisions left. And honestly, I think KDA deserves a spot in C tier. It's not too bad. It's clearly not a great deck, but it's not bad either. The problem with KDA, right, is if you're playing against an airborne deck, you just get annihilated because they're going to get take all the four positions and they're going to lock it down and you're going to you're not even going to show up there for like three or four minutes. Uh, you're playing against a super heavy tank deck. It's really hard for you to stop it. The blah will get critical mass and you really have to rely on a really asymmetrical gameplay or you're going to die. Um, other than that, you do get a great air tab and you get a great AA tab. Your tanks aren't so great. Your already is amazing as well, but that that's, you know, especially in 1v1s, it's going to be a less, a little bit less effective. And this division definitely could be B tier, depending on what you're playing against. But this division just gets 
smacked on some maps. You're playing airport and you're having to play against like 82nd, 11E, um, any of the second infantry, you just like lose all the key positions and then you're locked out. Uh, so that's that's the problem with this deck. It's just, yeah. But the air tab's amazing. It does have an amazing air tab. And I think it could be B tier um, and I could be convinced, but I think that's, I think C tier probably where it, it, it belongs. And the final last deck, the worst of the worst, Berlin command, uh, Berlin group in something. I'm just gonna call it Berlin. Red, Ber Red Berlin. It is so bad. <laughs> It has not a great artillery tab. It's got very little tanks. It's infantry tab is good. That's the one thing it's got going for it. The wash shoots in are so freaking awesome. They're cheap, effective, but, and the RPO wash shoots are even better. Air tab is really weak in general. It's got AT planes and clusters, which is great, but no like elite fighter. It's only got light fighters. It's a tab is not amazing. Uh, not at all. You got to rely on the Strela double vet to get any type of kills and you look, it's just not it's not advantageous it's actually really easily abused if somebody has decent amount of recon tabs nothing to write home about again if someone's got good air spamming they can really mess you up really quickly and wipe out everything and there's really not much you can really do about it and if you play straight up against you they could probably do pretty well as well it's not like you're doing that much better than any of these elite decks and you got no tanks at all you gotta rely on blobbing t55s i just think this deck is by far the worst division in the game um, I don't think it's like unplayable or anything like that. Definitely not. Not br terrible, but just weak. Just a weak division. Um, and then finally, we got one more thing on our list. I do thank Hippie. I think he's the one who made this stuff. Um, but obviously, he's the uh, S tier content creator out there. Shout out to Hippie. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me get, let me guys know what you guys think about all this. What tier list you think is the best? Or what's sorry, what? divisions you think are the best and the worst um, i'd be really really curious and uh i'll see you guys around thanks for watching and uh thanks